Hello everybody, my name is Vivian Merz and in this video I will show you how to create and edit a string plan within the Polyson constructor. As you can see I already prepared a roof and if I click and drag across my building it will show me how many modules I have on it. In my case there are 498 modules. So I've already placed my modules, um, chose the manufacturer and chose my inverters. And in this next step, I will have to create the string plan. You have various options of creating a string plan, as you can see in this orange tab above. You can choose between two directions. You can string horizontally or vertically. If you press either of those buttons, the Polyson constructor will automatically create your string plan. Now we created the string plan horizontally and this window called Control Panel popped up. Here we can already see the inverters we chose before. We have three inverters from Sunny Tree Power and here you can see the strings and how many modules are connected in each string. We can hit the reset button and now we can see nothing is connected and we can do it vertically. These are the two effortless options you have within the Polyson constructor. In some cases, the automatically generated string plan will be hard to implement in real life. So for these cases, you can create a string plan manually. So let's hit the reset button again. Nothing is connected. And now we simply select our modules by hand. Hold down your control key and keep clicking until you got the right amount of modules. Now we have 23 modules, as you can see here. And we choose one of the strings and hit this chord button to connect. It shows green, meaning that it worked, and we can see this blue string has been created. Now, of course, you can continue by making other strings, but if you do it all manually, this will, of course, take a lot of your time. So what I suggest you to do is hit the reset button and choose one of the automatically generated string plans, which you can now edit manually. So let's say, for example, we just want to remove some of the strings and connect them differently. So we can select it by clicking on it, and either with the delete key on your keyboard or with the eraser in your toolbar, you can delete it. And as you can see, this string has been removed. You can choose another one, delete, delete, and delete. So now we have four strings removed and we can now try to connect them in a different way. You already know how many modules you must connect within one string, so you choose the correct amount, in our case 23. Go back, choose one of these, and hit the chord. So now it made this string. Let's say we do another one. <laughs> Ch 
choose one connect now we have an individual string plan of course you have to think about it really carefully before you connect and think about what is possible and what is impossible for our purpose we're going to choose an automatically generated string plan and let me show you the different output options you have you can choose between dxf or dwg to use it later in AutoCAD, or you can also export it as a pdf file if you export as pdf file be careful to select the right scale according to the dimensions of your project So thanks for your attention and have a nice day.